The reason that I rarely make Oaxacan omelet or any omelet for guests is that, well, by the time you finish the last one, the first one has gotten cold. So I've got a new approach to doing omelets for guests that I think you're really going to like. Plus, it's going to have that great Oaxacan omelet flavor. So first we got to make that sauce. I'm going to roast some tomatoes, put them onto a baking sheet. I've laid a piece of foil on here just for easy cleanup. A couple of chilies. Now these chilies are hot banana peppers. In Oaxaca, of course, they would use that chile de agua, which I think is really good, but these have a bright flavor and a lot of heat too. So put them underneath the broiler, which I've already preheated. We're gonna let those roast for about five minutes per side until they're blackened and blistered. To start the sauce, a skillet goes on to about a medium-high heat. I'm going to add a little film of olive oil and then slice half an onion to saute until it's brown. When the roasted tomatoes and chilies have cooled down to room temperature, pull the skin off of those chilies, then pull out the seed pod, scrape out all the seeds, and then cut the chili into little strips about a quarter of an inch wide, maybe an inch and a half long. Peel the blackened skin off of those roasted tomatoes, then put them into a food processor or a blender and process until you've got a kind of coarse puree. Roasted and peeled and seeded and sliced chilies. Go in with those browned onions now. Give that a stir just to combine them. And when they get hot, I'm gonna add our puree of tomatoes. I'm gonna let this cook down until it gets a little bit darker and thicker. I'm gonna add a little bit of broth to this. I'm just using a store-bought broth, good quality. Okay, about a cup and a quarter. Here's what makes this sauce so distinctively Oaxacan, and that is epazote. Easy to grow in the U.S., you can find it at a lot of farmer's markets, even some well-stocked grocery stores, certainly Mexican grocery stores, try it out because it is such a beautiful flavor. I'm going to pull off the leaves only and put those in. Just a sprinkling of salt now, let it simmer over about a medium-low heat for about 15 minutes while we get all the preparations ready for the omelet. I'm going to crack eight eggs in here. Add some salt to these eggs. And then I'm going to add about a quarter of a cup of water. This will lighten the texture of those eggs. And now I'm going to beat them just enough to blend the yolk and the white. Film the pan with a, a generous coating of olive oil. Pour in the eggs. As it bubbles up, drag the cooked part to the center. And when almost all of the egg is set, Start to roll it forward, then right into your platter, and then spoon the sauce over and around the omelet. I love queso fresco on this dish, so I'm going to crumble over the top some beautiful fresh cheese. Decorate the whole thing with some leaves of epazote. It's just as easy as that. You've got brunch for a crowd.